like and share these videos balance is here for you librin um so it's a whole lot of you librins have to create some sort of a balance for you and your marriage your relationship um you need to balance out a whole other situation about yourself as a person remember you have and carry the energy of the scale so it's all about balance balance in your world so you are basically trying to recognize a um, certain aspect of yourself and balancing this out so this is good um balance is the energy of number 14 14 is actually five you're going to be making some sort of a transition in your world then we have number 33 and um, this is the door to romance a lot of you could be meeting your soulmate or twin flame in a, um this month whatever is happening whatever is transpiring some sort of uh um, soulmate twin flame energy is coming in number 33 is 33 6 where this is uh, the divine mother of love venus is here with love there's a lot of love venus is here with love and the angel of love archangel shamuel and raphael is here so a whole lot of love is here for you um liberals okay a lot of you liberals could be meeting your twin flame or soulmate um in this time period and um you're going to be happy a lot of twin twin flame soulmates will be meeting each other in this time period whatever is happening and transpiring I see luck in love for you, Librans. Whatever is happening and transpiring, there is a lot of luck in love for you. Um, a lot of you are going to be um connecting with soulmates. I see um a relationship is going to be uh flowing very very good. So a lot of luck uh, um in love is coming up. A lot of you soulmates are coming in, ladies and gentlemen. If you are looking for your soulmates, you are going to be um, connecting with your soulmate. Um, people are going to be recognizing that who their soulmates are and you are going to be reconnecting with your soulmate. So this is kind of wonderful for you liberals. Okay. 33 is the energy of Venus, the door to romance. Soulmate relationship is coming in. There is some sort of a um, secrecy that is going on liberal. And you need to balance this out. So whatever is happening and transpiring, you Librans are dealing with a lot of secrecy. A lot of secrecy that some of you Librans were holding is going to be coming out. So um, be uh, ready for this because uh, whatever the secrecy is that was happening, it's going to be coming out. If some of you were writing a book, what they're saying, it is time for you to finish this book now. Okay. If you, whatever book, whatever information um, that you were writing, it is time for you to finish this. All right. So what we're looking at in a month of uh, um, March, we have water. Um, then we have the energy of the star. The second week is going to be good for you guys. Then we have the energy of the heart. Um, so when we look at uh, um, this, is is as if some sort of information is going to be coming into the dream time in the first week. This is about uh, balancing out some issue where you're going to be receiving some sort of information via the intuition or the dream time. And uh, whatever the information is, is going to be giving you some sort of a start, some sort of a um, a, um, moment of unexpected luck is going to be coming in the energy of the star. And I see a cycle is going to be over in the third week. This is an earth energy. Then we have a fire energy, the wheel of fortune in the fourth week. So it is a very, very powerful, powerful month, um, for you guys. Um, you have water. You have hair, you have earth, and you have fire. So you're dealing with all of the four elements in uh, this week. So, um, you know, whoever you are, if you're a Libran with um, a sun sign of uh, water or earth or so, check out and see which one of the weeks, uh, if you have hurt in your sun sign, if you have a fire in your sun sign, Jupiter is here. So some sort of a secret is going to be over. And I see luck is going to be coming in for a lot of you Librans. So it's a powerful month. Okay. 
let's look at the first week in the first week a lot of information about money is going to be coming out the nine of pentacles so there was some sort of a secrecy about a whole lot of money with you and your partner you and your husband that is going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing this so then we see the seven of cups so a lot of you some sort of an emotional situation with relationship with your partner it is going to be good some of you are going to be recognizing um that if you're in a relationship with a scorpion you and the scorpion is going to be coming out of a, a situation i see um a lot of you recognize that you um a scorpion is uh, the love of your life if they're not your soulmate or twin flame but they're the love of your life you feel lucky with them then we see the energy of the six of pentacles so whatever is transpiring liberance you are receiving um, um you're dealing with a whole lot of money whatever is happening and transpiring help is going to be coming in money is going to be coming in but there is uh, for some of you a lot of secrets about money a lot of secrets and however these secrets are coming up or, it's about kind of money that you were keeping or however this is coming out i see um it is going to be coming out i see the knight of wands a lot of you liberals and the knight of wands uh, have a co-create um to have some sort of a secrecy with a whole lot of money people are going to be recognizing what you and this knight of wands have done how you and this knight of wands have uh, um um gotten money on the false pretend how you and this knight of wands have uh, took money or have some sort of a secrecy with a whole lot of money in the third week a cycle is going to be over and i see a cycle is going to be over over for a aries lee or a sagittarius man some of you could be one to divorce this man whoever this man is i see you're ending a cycle between you and this man whether it's a, um your boss your supervisor you're definitely ending a cycle between you and aries lee or a sagittarius man this man hold a lot of secrets about a whole lot of money some of you and this older man and a younger fire sign person had co uh, co create or collaborated to take money on the false pretend some sort of a secrets all three of you are old in then we see the energy of the three of pentacles and this is what i said um you liberants together with an aries the or sagittarian man and um uh, a young fire sign person had collaborated and work on taking money on the uh, or have some sort of a, a em, uh, emotional situation that has to do with a whole lot of money so what we're see, seeing here is that some of you liberals there is some sort of a secret that you hold with a aries or sagittarian man and a young Aries or Sagittarian person. So this man is like 60 years and older. It could be a father or it could be an older <coughs> sorry, <coughs> businessman. <coughs> mm -hmm. And a young Aries or Sagittarian person. And they're now recognizing what has happened and transpire. The energy of the Seven of Cups, some sort of a secrecy. Um secret relationships secret affairs um that some of you liberals were having a whole lot of secrets some sort of emotional secrecy is going to be coming out i see whatever secrets you liberal had with a scorpion it is going to be over and a cycle is going to be coming in because they're going to be recognizing what was happening and transpiring a lot of people are going to be recognizing that um uh, this older man and a young Aries D or a Sagittarius person have took a lot of money. Um, and you liberals are aware of that. You liberals could be a part of this also because it's a network. It's where you liberals network with an older man and a younger Aries D or a fire sign person in order to get a whole lot of money. And it is coming out because the energy of the secrets, the eye princess, is going to be revealing what has happened and what has transpired. The energy of fortune, the queen of swords. I see they're recognizing something. Some of you could be in a relationship with a um a gemini woman and they're going to be recognizing something about this gemini woman that this gemini woman had collaborated with an aries or a fire sign person 
and created some sort of a, a false play. And they're going to be recognizing what this Gemini and this Aries, the or Sagittarius man have done. They're going to be bringing a cycle. So it could be you ladies. Okay. They're going to be recognizing what you and this man have done and a cycle is over. Then we see the two of swords. So this is what I'm saying is that some of you women who are married to an Aries, the or Sagittarian man and have a child that is a Aries, the or Sagittarian, they're going to be recognizing how um, you two has collaborated and took money on the false pretend. It is all going to be coming out in this one. People are going to be recognizing um, something about you liberal ladies uh, and that you collaborated with an Aries Leo or uh, Aries Leo and a fire sign man. You collaborated with this man and how you work um, with this man in order to get some sort of information. I see that, you know, you ladies, I don't know um, if, if you're married to this man or whatever it is, or you're looking for fame or you wanted uh, um, to be connected to this person, some sort of a, or you think that this person could have brought you some sort of a luck, happiness, and joy. But you know, you're in for a surprise because you have no idea who this man is. Okay. This man pretend to be a businessman, but this man is a criminal. Okay. And a lot of you are going to be finding that out. Some of you could be married to this person and you're going to be recognizing. Um, that this man is not who he said he is. So, so they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you who are married to an Aries Lee or Sagittarian man, they're going to be recognizing how this man comes on his money and that this man has paid a lot of you Aquarian women in order to access and get some sort of information. Do you see the help is not going to be coming in because the card fell out in the reverse and whatever financial help that you thought you were going to be getting from an Aries D or Sagittarius man, it is not going to be coming out. And uh, so be aware of this uh, because whoever this man is that was giving you some sort of a false hope that they were going to be helping you out financially, it is not going to be working out. So um, be aware of of this so i see that a lot of you are going to be recognizing that this man have played you and played you big time okay that this man pretend to be someone who he is not and there you are going to be recognizing this so i see some of you could be recognizing that, that um maybe this man is your twin flame soulmate um you aquarians uh and liberians have a connection with a fire sign. The fire signs are where you find your soulmate and twin flame. And this is going to be um wonderful. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that an Aries the or Sag Sagittarian man is your twin flame. That is where you air sign find your twin flame is with the Aries Leer and Sagittarian man. So you know I see a lot of people a lot of air sign go with um water sign but it doesn't really work. Only if you or cops with a water person it will work but if you're not a cop versus the the um the best person for you is an aries leo or a sagittarian man in your foundation i see some regrets so <clears throat> i see emotional situation a lot of you have a lot of emotional situation with an aries leo or fire sign person um i see that you collaborated with this person and they're going to be finding out that you Aquarian had work and collaborated with an Aries Leo or fire sign person. Um, and they're going to be recognizing the false play that was going on with you liberals that you were actually um, co-creating co um, some sort of a network with a Aries Leo or fire sign person. They're going to be recognizing that you guys are connected, that you could be family members or friends uh, and um, people are going to be recognizing um, what was happening and what was transpiring. So I see emotional situation that is going to be coming up. A lot of you who have an Aries the or fire sign person, you're going to be trying to work out some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation with this person. I see truth is going to be coming out about you and this person. I don't know if it's a relationship. Um, it could be some sort of an affair that... Uh, um, some of you Libran and Aries the or a fire sign person had 
it's going to be coming out. I see a scorpion is going to be recognizing that you have played them and you have been having an affair with a Aries Leo or a fire sign person. Some of you who have a child that is an Aries Leo or a fire sign person, you're going to be recognizing that this person has a, um, um, created some sort of a criminal offense with an, um, um, a whole businessman and have come in some serious problem. It is all going to be coming out in this month. So, you know, be aware of what is going to be transpiring. It's a month of love, but it's also a month where a lot of you mothers is going to be recognizing that a child has got money on the false pretend and it has to do with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man that coax this person in working with them in order to receive some sort of a money. And this is like a man that uh, took some of your kids out and used them to facilitate uh, their crave of money. Okay, so be aware of this. So, so in the first week, secrets is coming out about uh, some of you and a scorpion. Um, that some of some of you and a scorpion, a scorpion was supporting some of you. It is going to be coming out. A lot of you, some sort of a secret collaboration that you have done is going to be coming out also. So the secrets, this first week is about secrets, about a whole lot of money between you and a scorpion. The scorpion could be your your um uh soulmate or you're in a relationship with the scorpion. Um, it is not a soulmate, it is more of a relationship, but you were only in a relationship with a scorpion for money. This person is going to be recognizing that and is going to be stopping the financial flow because they recognize that you use them only for money and there was someone else. In the second week, we have the energy of the star where something is coming out about a fire sign man and a whole lot of money um, that this fire sign man have took. They are now recognizing some sort of a, um, secrets of a fire sign man and a whole lot of money that this fire sign man has taken. Is this your father? Is this your husband? Truth is coming out. You women are connected to this fire sign man and Aries, they are Sagittarius person. It's not showing up who they are, but you women are connected to this man. Some of you women, this man let you think that he's a businessman or he's rich and Financial, that is not true. You're going to be recognizing this because the truth is coming out. Then I see a lot of you Aquarians is going to be successfully overcoming an issue with an Aries Leo or a fire sign person. Whoever this person is, had created a whole lot of issues in your world. And um, we see now this person is looking at you for financial help. And I see you're going to be stopping. You're going to be stopping. This person has been using you, abusing you financially. And it's time for you to stop. I see you're going to be recognizing no more. I am not giving this person any more money. They have been using me. I am always have to get them out of their problems, their situation. And you are going to be ending this. Okay. In the third week, we see some sort of an ending. In the third week, is a cycle is over. And I see that a Pisces is no longer going to be financially supporting a lot of you. Whoever the Pisces is and whatever is happening, the Pisces recognize I no longer is, you know, is going to be um, financially supporting you. Um, you know, you have to find your way out. Okay. So I see for you women, maybe you are a divorcee or you are in some sort of a relationship with a scorpion. I see that the scorpion is going to be saying to a lot of you women, hey, um, you know, the money flow is over. Um, it could be a child that um, grow up and this person is saying, I will no longer support you financially. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see they are now recognizing some sort of a um, situation where a lot of you are going to be letting your spouse, spouses know that, you know, the financial flow is no longer there and they have to learn to stand on their own. In the fourth week, the Wheel of Fortune, which is a very powerful energy, the Wheel of Fortune, some sort of uh, information is coming out about something that a Aries D or Sagittarian man and a young Aries D or Sagittarian person have done. And it's all coming out. This man have pretend to be a businessman or someone who um, 
who is financial stable it's not true a lot of you liberals is going to be finding out that this man has not been speaking the truth a lot of you liberals are also going to be recognizing um and taking this man to court who owes you for child support okay a lot of you are going to be recognizing that an Aries Lee or Sagittarius man with a younger person have created some sort of a affair in the past maybe it's your father um your father and your friend a younger person who is between the age of 18 and 50 and whoever this fire sign person is is something that is going to be coming out that your father had an affair with this person or your husband had an affair with this person some sort of a secrecy that they have kept is going to be coming out because they're going to be recognizing that this older Aries Lee or Sagittarian man had an affair with a younger person and they're going to be recognizing this this is going to be coming out the wheel of fortune is bringing out some sort of an information about you liberal ladies okay something in the past is going to be coming out about you liberal ladies and whatever it is that is in the past that is coming out this wheel of fortune is could be bringing back um a soulmate to some of you or a lover to some of you because um you know they are recognizing that there was some sort of a foul play um where uh, some of you had a soulmate or a twin flame you have met this person um this person disappear out of your life and all of a sudden um this person is going to be returned so the wheel of fortune is definitely bringing you um a lover a, a soulmate back in your life and i see a whole lot of you are going to be very very happy so a lot of you liberals could have liberals women could be could have lost a soulmate or a twin flame um somehow they got married you got married and then you're going to be reconnecting in this month and this is going to be good it's a month about secrecy love affairs uh, um, that sort of a thing that is going to be coming up for you. Libra is a month, uh, is a month about secret money um, that was taken on the false pretense, secrecy about money, um, secrecy over your father that is an Aries Lee or Sagittarius, uh, um, affairs that your father have with a younger person is going to be coming out, um, things that you were not aware of. So, they're going to be recognizing a lot of collaboration and a lot of money. And I see that um, a lot of liberals um, who got connected with some sort of a issue with a whole lot of money, you and a soulmate, you and a partner, it is all going to be coming out. Okay, cycles is going to be over. A cycle is going to be over for some of you um, liberals who are in some sort of a friendship or relationship with the Aries or Sagittarian and you're going to be happy that this uh, relationship or this uh, um, cycle is over between you and this person a new start is going to be um, coming in for some of you a new love or your soulmate is going to be returning for some of you or you're going to be meeting a soulmate a secret is coming out about you and your partner if you have an affair a secrets affair it is going to be coming out in this month i see they're going to be recognizing something about a whole lot of money and it has to do with you ladies being connected to an aries d or sagittarius if um this person was your man or this person was supporting you i see that he's going to be saying i can no longer support you so be aware of this so then we're looking at the first week some sort of a message about a whole lot of money um emotionally um some of you might have to be paying back a whole lot of money so some sort of emotion um where a lot of you could have to be paying back a lot of money some sort of information and secrecy that a whole lot of you liberal hold some sort of a money and you have to pay it back oh, the energy of the star the second week is going to be a good week i see some of you decide no longer to support an aries Lee or a fire sign person i see sadness for this person whoever this person is they recognize that this person have took and access a whole lot of money took and access a whole lot of money i see this person is a, 
um, really sad. It could be a sister or a family member. They, you have successfully overcome this person because they recognize that this person has not been very honest. And I see you resol uh, You have come to a resolution where you um, recognize that I gotta let this relationship uh, go. Okay. Then we see an apology is going to be coming in from an Aries Lee or a fire sign man. This person is definitely going to be apologizing to you. This person has tried to work against a whole lot of you and is going to be coming back. Uh, some sort of a uh, apology is going to be coming in uh, from a young Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person and a whole man. Maybe this man is your man, your ex-husband, your family member. I see some sort of apology is coming in. Then I see um, new love is coming in for you ladies. So ladies expect to meet your soulmate or twin flame in this month. It's going to be a very, very positive, wonderful month because your soulmate and twin flame is going to be coming in and it is going to be helping you to exhilarate. I see happiness and joy um, for you ladies when it comes to relationship. A lot of you ladies are going to be meeting your soulmate or twin flame. So I see sadness. Uh, whoever is a young Aries, the or Sagittarius, a whole lot of sadness for this person. People recognize what this person have done and how this person have took and stolen a whole lot of money. They are now recognizing who this person is. Some of you, it is um, an ex-partner. Some of you is a sister or a brother. But some sort of information comes out about this person and people are now recognizing who this person is and what this person have done. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to say to you, this is going to be a powerful.